Paul. Sometimes our talks, your talks with me are great because, you know, when you first said, I, I know and I've studied and I've done this and I've read this, I can see it. You've just lost yourself because you have not been living it like a reality. Your life. So what's the difference between your life and your spirit? What's the difference between when you said just now, my life depends on it. What does my life depends on it mean? Don't now, don't, don't try to change it. What, no, just what was your idea of your life at first? Um, current life, you know, I believe in reincarnation. So I know this is actually like one of the, of many lives I lived. And I believe that my soul choose to um, to have this, to have this experience. And let's see what will happen. Um, when you yeah. say my life, whose life? Who's mine? It's a uh, it's a soul uh, embodiment in my uh, human body. That's okay. I believe. Yes, that is what exactly. So you're now when you come and connect and you do all this work, you're not doing it dependent on your life. You're doing it. Your spirit is doing it. Your spirit is guiding your life. There's a difference, right? So there's a subtle difference mm -hmm. now when I now talk, say your spirit is guiding your life. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> your now you've become your soul your awareness it's not that you have to live your life so then you could be a spiritual being no you don't have to be conscious of, of your spiritual being you're just now living your life as a soul yes right and then now it's separate yeah. from life because now it's infinite now it's it's there's more more to life than meets the eye there's more to to consciousness then there becomes more to quantum jumps more to quantum realms more to quantum physics when you when you tap into this your visualizations enhance you can tap into different frequencies and levels and now it's different it's not now coming from a, a level of life because life is is finite right life is like it births rebirths reincarnates it dies it regrows but your soul is beyond life right yes exactly yeah so now when you know that then now you can quantify your life what do you mean by that so now you can quantify your life when you live as a soul, as a spiritual being that's beyond life and beyond time and space, then you can bend reality by now taking these examples I'm teaching you, you can now make it happen faster. Now you can start believing without belief. You could just know, you could just trust, you could just do, you could just speak now without having results you already are that because you've created those results in actual actuality before it becomes a reality. Mm -hmm. So now you're self-actualizing and self-realizing, right? And you're mm -hmm. downloading from the ether, from the universe, from the matrix. You're downloading your future self into the here and now. You see, yeah. now you can start bending reality and quantifying your life. Does it mm -hmm. make better sense now or no? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Now you see the differences in, in this field, in what guided intelligence is trying to teach you. It's like, it's different. Now you're guided intelligence. Mm -hmm. Right? You're not intelligence guided. You're 
guiding intelligence. So you are the guider of, of intelligence. Mm -hmm. So the guider is, is the creator. Right? So all the intelligences, all the things that can come, you have to foresee them coming into your reality. You know, like what? If, mm -hmm. it, if, if you don't, if you don't guide yourself, how can any intelligence life or intelligence uh, consciousness or intelligence technology come in, into your existence? What if, so if you start guiding yourself, what if this amazing, you walk into a person and they do like some amazing conscious science and you bump into them and they welcome you into their lab and they start working with you. Why can't you create that reality? What other reality can you create? Mm -hmm. for yourself? You're living still from the here and now going to the woods, you know, doing all these things and hard, you know, efforts that you love don't get me wrong you love it's the way we should be living grounding eating healthy sustainable but you're still living like like this you know now why can't with you the laugh? limits yeah yeah so so now what you can do is continue doing what you're doing but you can now use your awareness to jump to jump into further experiences so what's beyond the words and healthy living and stuff so now think think for yourself annika mm -hmm. what else can you do <laughs> what else can you create what else can you achieve what else you got to start thinking like that that's the the reason Okay, so you're not doing that. So the reason why you're saying, well, I'm not experiencing it yet, so I don't know, I'm not there yet. The reason why you're talking like that is because you're not connected to your awareness, your guided intelligence. That intelligence is just there, but you're thinking it's happening when, when you get there. No, it's already existing. It's already happening. You just have to tap into that field so you can um consciously create so your awareness you have to develop it more and more and more and more and mm -hmm. more that's mm -hmm. why i'm saying it's it's like a habitual ritual that's why i give everybody a habitual ritual so you you conform to this new reality you don't have to uh worry about it it's just become second nature you, it becomes like an innate ability and people around you will be like how are you doing this how is this happening then you can start teaching your experience you can say guided mm -hmm. intelligence is I wake up in the morning and I have my tea, but I'm conscious. And you can speak from your experience because that's your mm -hmm. guided intelligence. You, whatever mm -hmm. you're doing to create these, these experiences, these happiness frequencies, these feelings, when you start changing more, that's what your guided intelligence is. Mm -hmm. You see what it is now? You have to understand that it's not a teaching it's not a curriculum it's not malcolm it's not a brand it's not a, a company it's not it's it's something else i want you to understand that yes it's the source yeah how for example you how you know okay tap in the source um i can tell you about my experience uh which was i would say supernatural it happened i don't know one year ago or something like that after my meditation in the woods i was walking home uh and it was like um 
like I uh, like I uh, uh, grown, you know, it was uh, the feeling was that I was walking like uh, that I'm like two meters high and I um, I got the feeling that I'm, that I'm a black man, that I'm a boxer. Um, and I know that this was like a just flash of my uh, previous life because you know in this life I love boxing you know and, and I'm very good at it uh, and that was like my experience and I, I know that was I was like tapping in I don't know what exactly you know but how this was my only experience and then I also meditated meditated but never again I get get something like that because life uh, in my life because life caught up <laughs> we're pure and God gives us these whispers to remind us but then life the things in society are aware so they create these these uh, these chem chemical trails to hinder those whispers you're getting these downloads they create these microwave frequencies these radiations they do uh they implant ideas and thoughts in commercials and society and the wars and there's so many things that happened since then in the world has shifted right so many things have happened and so much more stress or and things start happening so it's God's way to tell you he was there. He's always there. Um, so now what you're doing now is coming back to that essence and thanking God and thanking your spirit, and your soul and, and Annika and your brain and your cells that you are tapping back and you're connecting back. That's the first step. Then you're a constant reminder. You don't need a reminder from there because it was already a part of you. <clears throat> what's separating you from from source is everything mm. so what you have to do is when you when you drink your water bless your water say thank you i'm health i'm healing i love you your health you're healing you're you're blessed you're alkalized i i command it i demand it you're blessed and then drink your water mm. right and when you pour your water or when you shower, or when you think of yourself, when you think throughout the day, don't think about your circumstances. Don't think of the things that you think are reality because what you're doing is you're claiming it. Stop claiming it. <clears throat> Start revising and reliving again, like consciously aware. You know, a lot of people, they can't sit in their own pain and suffering. They, they need to run. They need to escape. They need to go. They need to do things. I remember I used to be like that. I couldn't sit still. I needed to do something. I needed to escape, right? Practice, mm -hmm. practice consuming more information, more content. <clears throat> Subscribe to Gaia TV. Subscribe to, you know, watch documentaries more often. It's just, it's just you got to get back to that nature, not just, you know, do the things that you're not doing. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. Do the mm -hmm. things that you're not doing. Um, so for me, it would be start doing the things that Annika's doing. She's in the woods. She's in nature. She's doing this. She's awesome. You know, so for me, it would be like, do the things I'm not doing. To be more of one, be more of connection, be more of my soul purpose. And then you can bend reality with your mind itself. And then you can walk into realities because now it's like you're more powerful. You don't need to struggle to get your job. You don't need to struggle to create you are a creator now. So you, now when you've done all this work, you can energetically walk and know you're going to meet somebody. You don't know, but you know. You know you planted the seed that you're going to meet somebody, either a doctor, a scientist, you know, maybe a lawyer, whatever you need. Or maybe you need 
to meet someone who has half a half a cattle, a cow, because you've been now thinking you need a cow, you need to stock up, and and you have this power, and you just bumped into it. You just know. You're now mm-hmm. living in a knowing. It's not. It's not now by chance. It's not like, um, oh, I got to make this happen, or I need to do this. I need to search. I need to find out. It's like you've already know it's gonna come to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. You I know just, what you mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just doing this work. That's why you have this coaching. That's why you're getting coaching. It's the reason why I'm not just throwing ideas like i'm not saying today on day one wouldn't that have fucked you up that would have confused you you'd have been like okay where do i start you're giving me so much okay you would have been missing Mm -hmm. out on meditation the hypnosis that you have to i still have to test you on how you're directing your your subconscious mind before bed like, mm-hmm. what are you doing? What's your nightly routine? Like, so you have to create a nightly routine. Also, all of this is going to connect. It's like synapses. It's like wiring and firing new electrons and neurons and new consciousnesses. So it's like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's not just one thing. It's all of the things that's going to layer into this vastness that you've created for your life so when someone asks you how did you do this it's gonna it's not gonna be easy for you to just say one thing you're gonna have to sit them down and say okay we have to start with day one right Mm -hmm. right you can't just you Mm -hmm. can't just like throw it all at them and they expect them to get it Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. what i mean yes Mm -hmm. so you have to learn to just Go with the flow of everything that's happening and also be aware that you are the awareness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now when you go to sleep, are you setting an intention and a direction? And are you commanding and demanding? And are you compelling and dwelling? See, these are all separate teachings. These are all a separate nightly routine that have to be customized to you. Mm -hmm. Currently, when I go to bed, I just want, I just um, imagine some uh, beautiful memory I have so that I'm, I would say not thinking of uh, something negative. So just imagine my beautiful moment. Okay, that's all you do? Yeah. It's not enough. Uh, And I, okay, yeah, (laughs) yeah. So, yeah, the intention probably. Yeah. So set an intention. Write that down as step one. Set an mm-hmm. intention. And then put, put beside that, you have to create that intention. It's your intention. So number one, set an intention. And then, and then with that, beside that, put a dash and then you're going to create an intention, whatever that intention is. Yeah. Okay. Now, number two. Now, direct your subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, and then step three, we'll come back to it and then we'll break it down with ideas. Step three, you got to command and demand. Mm-hmm. And then step four, compel and dwell. Okay. Okay. Now, with all these ideas, so the first one, it says set an intention. Now, what does set an intention mean? Um. So you... Um... Mm, I, I, for example, my would be I'm uh, I'm healthy. Okay, now let me help you. So set an intention for you should mean that the way you're organizing your life, the way you're living your life, the way you walk, the way you talk, 
the way you speak, the way you think. And also mm-hmm. you're saying to yourself, I'm rewiring myself. You know, I'm doing these patterns, recognition. I'm conscious. I'm aware. I'm doing all this. So what you're doing, hold on before you write, I didn't. Okay. What you're doing is you're conversating with yourself of what you are and have been doing all the good new things, the new versions of yourself. You're setting an intention that this is what I'm doing. You're just consciously aware that you're having, you're, you're having a conversation with these ideas, these notions and these realities and you're setting that intention. That's what you're setting. You're you're like you're re you're um what you're doing is you're I wanna say so many things, but you're like re you're doing so many things. You're renegotiating with yourself. You're giving yourself analogies of what you're doing now. You're, you're changing your thought patterns. <laughs> you're saying that everything in accumulation of where I've come, how far I've come to where I'm going. So you're, you're just setting this whole entire intention. And then step two you're directing now all of this everything you've just done in step one you're now directing it you're giving your subconscious mind a direction now of where you're headed Mm -hmm. one sec Excuse me. No problem. Excuse me. Okay, so you're you're setting an intention. So also, I want to also talk to you about how do you release inflammation, disease, um, gas, um, stress, phlegm, mucus. There, that's an also that's also an intention. So okay, so. Um, we'll talk about that after remind me. Okay. That's separate. Don't okay. add it to this. This is your habitual ritual, mm-hmm. your morning routine. It's separate. Mm-hmm. Okay. So your intention is one, you have the idea, right? You know what an intention and how to do your separate individual intention. Yes. It's like taking your life and you're putting it as an intention. You're aware of it. And you're aware of what you need to do, how you're Mm -hmm. requiring yourself, what you're changing, what you're shifting. You're creating that awareness. That's the intention. Yes. Now, step two, the direction. Now you take that direction into, you foresee it for source to receive it. So now you foresee that direction for source to receive it. That's a direction. And you are now directing your subconscious mind to work for and be a servant of your conscious mind. Make sense? Yes. Now repeat repeat this for me. So far, step one and step two, in your own words, in your own acknowledgement, with your own analogy, your own understanding of it. So the intention is everything that i'm actually doing now so like the creating or establishing the awareness yeah yeah everything and then and more, the, and more yeah yeah and then direction is that i direct all of these activities for uh for source to receive it beautiful okay and then setting your and then your direction what's a direction 
for you? Um, yeah, <laughs> that, um, that, um, I, I'm healthy. That's foresee. That's, so you're foreseeing. Okay. I am foreseeing all that I'm your intentions now are okay. being directed to source to receive it. Okay, so all of what I'm doing uh, is you're for it away. To... You're releasing it. You're detaching it. You're letting it go. You're giving it. You're directing it to source. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You understand? So now you don't have to worry about the thoughts anymore. Because you've intentionalized it all. Then you've directed it away mm -hmm. to source to mm -hmm. receive it. Mm -hmm. And your subconscious mm -hmm. mind already knows to go to work. Mm -hmm. okay. And if your mind does overthink, it's okay. It's okay. It needs to do the work. It's wiring and firing new signals in your brain. You can't always suppress yourself and be like stillness and oh, I gotta, I gotta just be empty. No, it's okay. To, we're always going to have thoughts and ideas, but if you can master this, then you can sit in stillness. If you can master this, if you can't master this, you can't, no matter if you go to the woods, you, you're going to, your stillness is going to be half ass. It's going to be uh, half fulfilled because it's still, your awareness is not fully developed. Like imagine now you've been meditating, you've been praying but you've been missing all these elements of I'm not mm -hmm. there yet. You know, I'm waiting till I'm there. And then you didn't know about these intentions and stuff. So now you've been meditating. So now it's going to be more enhanceive. Won't it be more better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For now sure. You'll be able to connect more, give more power to your meditations. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Is it dark over there or the light, the sun just went Yeah, down? I'm uh, I'm like outside, you know. Uh, <laughs> no worries. I'm outside and right there now? is no light. Uh, it, uh, it's uh, 9 p.m. it will be. Um, okay. Yeah, so. No worries, yeah. no worries. Yeah. Okay, so, but, but, okay, so far now, re, uh, so explain to me, reiterate for me, um direction again so i i direct all my all my intentions so what i want and like pass it to the source but or i foresee that not pass it this is not a good word so that um no it's okay. that the source that the source can uh can hear it or yeah receive it receive it yes it's you are now communicating with source okay so do you understand yeah. now? Yes. yes yes okay. now what's number three command and demand okay no what i'm asking you i don't know what was number three Okay, I I will check. <laughs> Weren't you just writing it down? Yeah, command and demand and uh, compel and dwell is oh, okay. the fourth one. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm just testing you. I'm just seeing what you, <laughs> what you know, what you don't know, what you are hearing, what you're not hearing, uh, what you're understanding, what you're not understanding. All right, so now command and demand is you're taking all of the intention and direction and what you've sent to source. And now you're going to command it of it. You're going to demand it and you're going to do it in a way where you recognize you're ready. You're ready because you're doing it. You trust in yourself. So source trusted trust in you. So your command and demand doesn't have to come across as like a bully. Like you're a bully. Like you're saying you, you, you hear me like, you know, I've heard a lot of people say, I, I've been mad at God. I've sworn at God. I've turned my back on God in the past, but now I've come back to God. You've heard those stories, right? You've heard people. Yes. Say yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so don't command and demand in that way. Command and demand 
from, from your command, you demand it. And you're not saying it to, to source in a way like, like, why haven't you done it? Or why not like that? It's going to be like, just that you are now ready, you're prepared, and you're commanding and demanding of it. Mm -hmm. Of everything mm -hmm. that you're going to bring into your life. So that's taking the intention and the direction for what you're creating and changing your life to be. And now you're commanding and demanding it. And then when you compel and dwell, then it's a subtle shifting of a prayer. So instead of praying, you're compelling and dwelling. You're now asking and receiving from God that I want to know that my command and my demand is becoming a compelling and a dwelling. Now I'm shifting my thoughts into dwellings of the foreseen future that I'm creating this. It's happening now. I'm seeing synchronicities. I'm noticing things. Mm -hmm. Things are changing for me. Things are happening for me. That's when you're living in compelling and dwelling the right way. That's when you start seeing so many things happening because you're living that you're feeling it all the time you're noticing it all the time okay so this is actually um actual uh i i should uh like um think uh about some synchronicity that uh, ha uh happened to me or just you know imagine no the no, no 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 you're jumping ahead you're doing you're, you're, you're trying to take something and trying to, trying to like create a result out of it. No, mm -hmm. don't, don't do that. All mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. all I said was an example. I said, you're compelling and dwelling. When you do it, your synchronicities will naturally, you'll start appearing. They'll start coming to you. You're not going to mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you understand? The, the fourth part, I don't understand what I suppose, uh, what I would suppose to do, like uh, dwell and compel in what actually, sorry. Can you change your background? I think your background on your phone is too dark. Make your background like a white screen so I can see you. Yeah, probably we want, I uh, cannot see me, I can move to the light, actually, you know, because you, I see there, you can do there that, is some But light. if you understand what I'm saying, that your background is also dark. Yeah. You know, uh, this earth, this earth, this fake circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you yeah. make it into a white screen or some type of a brighter screen, you will appear better. Yes uh where should i do this well um, you changed your background so maybe choose um anything that's just a little bit brighter um <clears throat> so let's go through this again i want to know what you understand what you articulate it as and then i'll correct it so step four which is compel and dwell What's your understanding of it now? Um, um, uh, uh, do I, did I change my background maybe? Or not? What do you see? Because I, I, I see... Yeah, I, see, I see it's just no background it's just your regular night sky yeah, like, yeah. No, no background it should be no background yeah okay perfect and you see it's dark so i yeah. will uh, I will just walk a little bit um yeah compel and well don't i don't understand okay what did you articulate though in your way like what were you what's the, i want to know the mistake so then I can help. What what were you thinking? What were you trying to believe it was? Um, you were saying okay. stuff about, oh, so, you know, how do I go to this synchronicity and I'm going to notice it? And so explain to me what, 
So, so far, number one, number two, number three, do you understand? Yes. Okay, then explain yeah. number three. Uh, so I should like um, comment and direct in sense of that I'm ready and um, I'm ready for my intention to happen. Okay, and then compel and dwell. Yeah is basically now receiving the signal back from source and and now you are compelling yourself and dwelling yourself on the proper things you're shifting the way you compel and dwell you're no longer like dwelling on the past you're no longer dwelling on lack of or i can't or i'm not or it hasn't happened yet you're now compelling and dwelling, focusing on step one, two, three. And now you're, you're dwelling on everything that you're achieving and creating and bringing into existence and, and everything you're foreseeing and quantifying. And, and then from doing that, do you understand? Yes. So I now, should now, like... now from doing that, you follow mm -hmm. from doing yeah. that, you're going to naturally start noticing and receiving synchronicities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I rephrase, I should like dwell or uh, like enjoy in this moment that actually everything already happened. That's it. And it's happening. No, like it's, yeah, and it's happening. See, yeah. I think you're still stuck in dwelling as as a subconscious paradigm because a lot of people don't know how to dwell they dwell dwelling to people is like oh so dwell has a bad way so what you're doing is you're reframing how you dwell you're you're so if you were to dwell on let's use something as an example you dwell say you're going to go to a circus right and say your past paradigm is, oh, well, you're scared of lions, right? So now you're dwelling, oh, shoot, my mom and dad are taking me to a circus, but oh, I'm worried about the lion. So you're dwelling of the circus in a wrong way, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so now the new version of dwelling is, okay, I'm shifting my paradigm around lions. And now I'm going to have an amazing experience and dwell on great things happening at the circus. Like maybe like you're just dwelling on something different, positive outcome, reinforcing your dwelling for your life. You're compelling and dwelling your life in a direction and intention that you're receiving and you're noticing things happening. Okay. Does it make better sense? Yes. Yes. So now give me an analogy and, and reiterate this last step for me. Okay, so uh, I dwell in the in the maybe knowing that uh, I'm changing and it's happening. Yes. Okay. Now, as you wake up in the morning. Okay. Now, this is now coming to the morning as you wake up in the morning. There's a difference between, between being conscious aware and waking up. Now, what, what's the first thing you do in the morning usually? What's your morning? You told me the truth about your night. What's the truth about the morning? What's the first thing you do in the morning? I change it now, you know, because I watch this miracle morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And now I do first, uh, uh, first the uh, a little prayer, and then affirmations, and yeah. then uh, visualizations, and then I work out, uh, and good. and then I do a little bit reading. So. Okay, good. So you you do that, which is beautiful. Okay, so now let me add to it. Now, <clears throat> when you wake up in the morning, there's a difference between waking up, deciding to wake up, opening your eyes. And, and then making your routine start and begin. That's what you do. You wake up and then you decide to pray and you decide to do your stuff, right? <clears throat> yes. 
Okay, there's a whole step before all of this called co your soul coming in conscious, consciously. Okay, so when you are becoming conscious, it's when your soul is now aware. Now you're aware in your body. That There's a step before opening your eyes and waking up. It's like you're conscious now. That step, a lot of people find difficult to tap into because they know it's there, but they don't tap into it. They just wait till their eyes open and they're like, okay, now I'm awake. And now they're living in the body. They're living in the mind. To tap into living from the soul, from the spirit, it's when your conscious awareness comes aware. That's before you open your eyes, before you wake up. Make sense? So yes. you got to get so good at understanding when your conscious awareness comes to your body. Mm -hmm. And that step is vital to your actions you take in life. Because now if you don't do that, then you're praying for what? You're exercising for what? outside of yourself you're living outside yourself still because you're praying you're exercising you're brushing your teeth you're getting ready but it's all for an action and reaction it's like i'm exercising to get healthier i'm praying for my mind body and spirit i'm praying to get healthier i know that i'm gonna get better but it all happened only when you started deciding to take an action and a reaction it didn't start happening with the step one, step two, step three, step four, coming into your conscious awareness in the morning. See the subtle difference? You're bringing all of what you did last night and in your subconscious mind into the morning. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the step. <clears throat> Do you understand that now? Yeah, so this is for sure uh then connect uh, these four steps in night and then yes, uh, you're connecting it now into the morning so that's what guided intelligence is it's bringing all this awareness you're guiding your intelligence so these steps are crucial what i noticed in my over 10 years of study and my over 10 years of challenging the status quo and all these amazing people that i watch and i research like especially that morning miracle morning that that uh from that guy that beautiful beautiful man that i sent you there's ideas you can take and enhancements you can create even from tony robbins even from dr joe dispenza even from bob proctor even from er from life from everything itself i'm not saying that i made it it's my way i'm saying like spiritually I started doing this stuff and spiritually you're going to start doing this stuff does that mean that it was you it was Annika does that mean that you stole ideas does that mean no it just means your spirit is now guiding your intelligence mm -hmm. it means you're enhancing more of yourself so the way I can help you enhance more of yourself Annika is by tweaking your morning routine is by you need to understand when you are conscious aware if you're not understanding when you're conscious aware how are you going to be awareness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. make sense yes and how does this look like because i uh, i didn't ever experience this <laughs> okay so When you start to notice the subtle feeling and emotions and thoughts and the brain and the awareness and the body and everything when you're still sleeping, it's like almost a dream state, uh, an alpha frequency, a chakra inside of you. When you come to recognize that that is who you are, then you become lucid. It's like becoming aware in your dream 
and having a lucid dream and being conscious aware and living in your dream and being able to direct your dream and do whatever you want, but in reality. So now you wake up and now you're now out of the dream and in the real life. No, now you're out of the dream life and you're now in this, this reality. It's a different reality, not real life, sorry, because what is real life, right? When your dream life was more than real life. And when you die, it's more than real life. So what is real life? So when you wake up, now you're part of this reality, this, this, uh, you're part of this um, consciousness, you're part of this duality, you're part of it now. But if you're not a part of it, you're reacting from it. You're acting in it. You're just another actor. You're another non-player character in this matrix. The way to be more tapped into it is to recognize that your eyes are closed and you're like, that's what I am. I am that I am. And this now entered my body. Now I'm going to open my eyes consciously. I'm not just going to unconsciously be like, oh, oh, wake up. And okay, so what do I have to do today? Oh, yeah, I pray. I watched that morning miracle move documentary. Now I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to do that. That you can do after you know you're aware. So you got to know you're aware from the time you go to bed to the time you're sleeping, from the time you're in your dreams, from the time you consciously come into your body again. I know this is deep stuff, but I know you're ready. I know you're prepared. I know you said you study a lot. You've read a lot. You know it all. So <clears throat> you should have an innate ability to understand this level. Mm -hmm. Right? So don't worry about the how, Annika. Don't worry about the how. Don't worry about the how. <laughs> no, see, now that's your awareness you weren't aware of. Now, your subconscious mind, oh. I sent you a document called How to Rewire Your Subconscious Mind, right? Mm -hmm. What do you have to say now? Repeat five to 25 times right now the opposite of what you just said. I don't care about how it will happen. I know it's happening. I know it's happening. I know it's happening. Okay. Because you said, you. what did you say? I don't know how? What did you say? I'm always worried about the how. Yeah, okay. So now what's the opposite of that? I'm I'm not worried about the how. No, I'm don't say I'm not worried. The universe doesn't okay, know the yeah. difference between yeah. not mm -hmm. and have and not have. So um good or bad doesn't know there's there's no difference based on your level of awareness. Your level of awareness is what's becoming conscious. So you have to say I, I, so just change it completely. Say, I know how, I know how, mm -hmm. I know how things come into existence. I know how uh, these realities start to happen. I know how I consciously wake up in the morning. I know how, when you start doing this and living it and sleeping with it, waking up with it, then you start knowing how. You don't have to worry about the how, you know how. Mm. And don't ever talk about yourself. Oh, I always did this or I always do this or this. Don't talk like that. That's the problem that you're tainting your spirit. You are the cause and effect of your own life. So, mm. so you're looking always for something to change, for change to happen. It's because of your mind. It's your programming. You got to rewire the way you think and feel and act. Okay. So do you understand that the awareness, like what to do now in the morning? Yes. And, and, and you understand that you don't have to worry about the how? Yes. Because in step one, two, three, and four from the morning, you didn't have to worry about the how. I gave you all the steps. So why are you worrying about it in the morning? You see how quick you you go back to the old paradigms? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so quick. 
Just because now morning time is here, you forgot. See how quick you forgot? Mm. And that's how human beings are. Mm. That's why they need to wake up. Mm. So the nightly routine becomes your morning routine. There's no reason for a how because it just happened already. Mm. You did it. Mm. Stop worrying about the how and start doing it. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> you got a lot out of today's session. Um, I hope. Did, did you get yeah. a lot out of today's session? Mm -hmm. it's, and yeah. you always, you know, um, I feel very good after talking to you, you know. So thank you. Thank you. Well, I appreciate that. And I would hope that uh, that is the result from um, guided intelligence, because there's a reason why we need to guide our intelligence, right? Um, it's like you're coming into this. People need to stop looking at it as if it's an outside source. It's an inside source. It's all around you. It's always there. It never was not there. It's just there. And you're, you can tap into it without worrying about the how. Just do. Just the steps that I'm giving you is all you need to do. And it's going to happen. Do you want to go sit under a cave with a guru for 10 years to get to these levels? Or do you want to do it now? No, I want to do it now. And you t you told me that uh, the quantum leaves, uh, jumps are possible. So why why not me? Exactly. You don't have to wait to seek enlightenment. You don't have to wait to seek um, these levels of awarenesses. It's already there. Oh, our meeting finished.